I've decided to move to Portland for the weekend. One of the things I like about Portland is I can just kind of relax. I can just uh, not have to feel like I need to do something. Even though it takes me quite a while to drive out here because it, it, it is a little ways from Seattle. I still feel like I can just relax. Most of the time when I drive a long distance, I kind of feel like I need to make the most of my time and do a lot of stuff. When I come to Portland, I have the exact opposite feeling. Whenever I get here, I just feel like I can just hang out and relax and I'm at home. It's odd because I don't ever really want to live here, but I still feel kind of like home when I'm here. One of the things that I like about Portland here is that it kind of aligns with uh, a lot of what I like. So food-wise, coffee-wise, those are all really good and really great options for food and coffee here, and especially healthy food and coffee. So I just stopped in at a grocery store that I like to find some coffee, some different coffee, because you know I like to change it up from time to time. This is one of my favorite brands. This is a company that started out of Los Angeles. They now have uh, a little base of operations here in Portland and this is one I hadn't seen before. This I think is a limited edition variety and um, I really like Mexican coffee. This one is uh, from the Chiapas region of Mexico and uh, that is usually a very very good quality and uh, tasting coffee so I'm eager to give this a try. But first I need to get some lunch found a burger place that I'm hoping is good. I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a try and see. Uh, I believe it's called Burgerville. So I'm going to head over there and let you know if it's worth the drive over here. In any case, I'm having a nice time just hanging out here. Just a nice place and I thought it was supposed to rain, but it has been sunny and beautiful and it's actually felt kind of warm even though it's I think it's only about 70 degrees, but boy the weather is glorious. Well, that was good. Uh, Burgerville here in southeast Portland. Uh, not great, I would say, but good. I'd come back here again. So I've had kind of a slow start to my day here. I didn't get into Portland last night until very late and the reason was because I stopped in Tacoma on my way down to Portland uh, to get a haircut. You probably noticed. I haven't had it cut this short in a very long time. I'm not liking it too much but the um, great thing about hair is it always grows back and mine grows back pretty fast. So I stopped in Tacoma because I've had my hair cut in the same place from the same young lady since I've been here uh, in the Pacific Northwest. And I don't want to change that. Uh, she does a really good job. And so uh, I had her cut it really short because I was getting a little bit annoyed with it lately. And it's just easier when it's shorter uh, to get up and get going in the morning. Uh, but also she's taking some time off. She's getting married and so she's taking some time off. and. That was going to fall right about the time of my next haircut. So I told her, just go really short. And she did. And it's not her fault that I don't like it so much. But anyway, like I said, it'll grow back. Um, long way around of saying I've had a late start to my day because of, of the haircut, stopping to get a haircut. Uh, so um, I'm ready for coffee. I am really ready for coffee. And I've heard about a place, kind of a trendy type place here in Portland. And I think I'm going to give it a try because it's not too far away from uh, Burgerville here.
So I've got some mixed feelings about Dapper and Wise. Uh, it's very good. I'm drinking it black, and that's something I normally don't do. Uh, it's very drinkable uh, without any cream. Of course, I never take sugar in my coffee. But um, it was kind of an odd place. It's beautiful. It was clean. Uh, service was very good. Coffee's excellent. But they don't do pour-over coffee, and that's kind of my preference. So I wasn't really in the mood for an espresso-type drink, so I just got, um, since they didn't have pour over, I just got a cup of their drip coffee. And like I said, it's very good, but um, I'm just a little perplexed as to why they don't do uh, a pour over. So yeah, odd. Uh, maybe I'll try it again uh, another time I'm back here. Um, I'm not familiar with this part of Portland so I should probably come back here and, and try it out again and spend a little more time here. Uh, nice part of town uh, down here, uh, southeast area of, uh, of Portland. I know I should just make something for breakfast here in the van, but seeing as I'm up a little earlier than I normally am, I think I'm just going to go out to get something to eat. Plus, I'm really hungry, and I've just got a limited amount of food in the van, so I think I'm just going to go get something so that I can really just kind of feast this morning. It's rainy. I'm extra hungry. I'm up early. I deserve it. That's what I'm saying to myself anyway. I'm going to keep walking around outside. I might need to put my rain jacket on. Well, that was one awesome brunch. I've been to that place before. I really, really like it. But that was a lot of carbs. And I am now a bit tired. So I think I'm just going to hang out and enjoy the rain. Because I'm enjoying it. None of this is a problem. One of the things that kind of perplexes me from time to time is when people tell me that uh, oh, it's terrible that it's raining. And, you know, oh, it's terrible that you have to put up with the rain. I kind of like the rain. Uh, maybe that would be different if I wasn't uh, from California originally, Southern California. And, you know, most of Southern California is a desert. So, you know, for 30 plus years, I've lived in a desert-like environment. So for me, eh, rain, it's not that bad. And I mean, really, if you're coming up to the Pacific Northwest, you should know that rain is going to be part of the issue. I mean, it's, it, it's what makes this place so great. We wouldn't have all the green trees. We wouldn't have the lakes and the waterfalls and all of that uh, without the rain. So um, I kind of enjoy the rain. 
and you know I mean maybe maybe if it never stopped raining I would feel differently about it and maybe if I uh, grew up here I'd feel differently about it but I kind of like the rain the one thing nice about rain is that it slows you down and that's what I want that was kind of the the big thing that I've been trying to do ever since I started van life here it's been almost three and a half years now I've wanted a slower pace of life and of course I have to work full-time so that is not necessarily going to be slow paced when you're at work uh, of course you got to keep up with what your employer wants you to do so my days off I do try to, as much as I can, I do try to keep things at a nice slow pace. So the rain helps with that, I think. It makes you drive a little bit slower, it makes you just kind of slow down. Uh, but there is there is the one bad problem with the rain, uh, is driving in it, you do need to slow down a little bit. And most people drive fairly slow up here uh, when it rains, not really sure why, maybe because there's a lot of people from other places, and so they don't uh, really quite know how to drive in the rain, so they just drive slow. Just fine with me. I drive a little bit slower when it rains. So I'm going to um, do just that. I'm going to drive a little bit slow, and I'm going to take off. Even though it's pretty early in the afternoon, I'm going to head on back to Seattle because uh, it's going to be a slow drive. But then again, I like that. I like slow pace. And being that it's early in the afternoon, I usually don't leave here until late whenever I come down to Portland because it's hard for me to just get away. Uh, I enjoy it here so much that I just don't want to leave when I get here. So since it's a little earlier, maybe I can uh, find some places to stop along the way because it is a little bit of a drive back to uh, Seattle. So anyway, um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to have a nice slow relaxing, enjoyable drive back towards Seattle. All right, got my coffee freshened up and I've got my favorite chips at the moment. Anyway, my favorite chips, sour cream and onion, kettle chips. I like these things. Uh, I also like them when I'm driving, especially. So I'm ready to hit the road, head back towards Seattle. I don't know if you're aware, but Portland has this uh, phrase that they like to say. They like to say, uh, keep Portland weird. And it's a little odd because uh, I don't find Portland to be that weird. I know I said yesterday that uh, this is a city that I don't ever want to live in. But the funny thing is, is uh, I find it so comfortable here. Whenever I come here, I always feel like I'm at home. So I think I'm actually am living here, at least on occasion, whenever I come out here. Because whenever I'm here, I really feel like home. So uh, it does feel like a place that I live in, I guess. So I guess I do live here, sort of, on occasion, anyway. I should make it uh, more of an occasion, uh, <laughs> come back here more often anyway, I think is what I'm trying to say, because um, I do really like it here. Although I don't want to stay here permanently. Just get that out of, the, out of the way right now. I'm heading back to Seattle now. Thanks for watching, everybody.